Um, so uh, this is for you, Tom. Uh, so basically, you have this issue where, um, come on, where basically this uh, is selectable, right? So you can't get to your stuff. So if you want to reference it, you just select it. Make sure you have the channel box here. Okay, so it says channels. See where it says layers? Go ahead and click on this, and that will uh, make it a layer that you can turn on and off. Okay, and then you just want to click here. That'll template it. Makes it a wireframe you can't select. But if you click it again, it'll be referenced. Now you might already have that set up, and if you do, you could look down here. You might not have to select it and do this. It might already have that layer there from making it before, and you would just click the R thing. Now, uh, as far as getting rid of the image plane here, so I have this image plane. I just did one, just so you could see it. All you gotta do is click on this thing here, the uh, hypershade, or you go Windows. In case yours isn't up there, because I know you have a smaller um, uh, resolution of your screen. Go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. Okay, and then it'll bring up this window. And all you wanna do is go to the cameras, select this, and then just hit Control H, and that will hide it. And it won't be there anymore. Or if you can, you can click on it and hit Delete. But that will only work if you're in the character model file. If you're in the file, your animation file, um, you won't be able to delete it because it's referenced in. So all you'd have to do is open up the character, delete it there, go back to your your animation file that has the environment and the character referenced in, uh, and it will be gone. So it's up to you how you want to do that. Uh, but I think those are the two things, and you can see it's gone. Those are the two things I think that you were uh, needed help with. So there you go.